I'm going to jump right into this. This white, white acrylic, this is all apple barrel paint. I think this is pool blue. There's a number on the bottle tail. I can't see right now. It's uh, upside down to me. Peach. Some kind of peach. Brown. I don't know if it has a fancy name. Something bright red. This is a great tutorial, isn't it? I can't even read what the, the paint names are. And yes, I use this styrofoam plate all the time. I really need to get a palette and just wash it out instead of using these uh, throwaway plates, but I've used that for a good six months as the same plate. I take a little bit of the peach and the white and then mix that together a little bit on the plate. Well, that's fun, isn't it? Dab, dab, dab. I recorded this a couple days ago. I don't remember what I'm doing off screen. I'm probably digging through my box. But this angel character is drawn on cardstock paper. So I'm going to take apple barrel paint and paint it on the cardstock here. Wow, I am taking a long time. Well, let's see what else I can talk about before I start painting. Um, my voice sounds a little odd because it's seasonal allergy time and I'm constantly like stuffy nose and everything during allergy season so I apologize for that. And I'm going to have to change the titles on my videos. I didn't realize that, um, you know, I should be putting time lapse instead of speed paint. I am not speed painting. I'm just uh, speeding up the uh, recording after it's done. I wish I was talented enough to actually do a speed paint, but no. What you see is what you get here. It took me 30 minutes to do the face. So what I'm doing right now on screen is I've got the peach and the white mixed together and I'm going to do kind of like a base layer and I will blend on top of this. You don't want to over wet this paint because as I said before this is on cardstock paper, 110 pound cardstock and it will warp and if you get it too wet it will roll the paper off. So some things to keep in mind. I've been painting on cardstock with the apple barrel paints for, wow, at least four years, possibly five. I'm really bad with dates and I, I have a really bad habit of painting things and not putting dates on them. If I do, it'll be like a year or a month and a year. I don't put the actual date and, um, you know, here's a tip if you don't already know this date your stuff because there will be a time in the future you're going to want to know when did I do this don't be like me I've had to look on Facebook to see when the post was made to figure out when I did some of this stuff because I didn't date it
And what you're going to notice here in a second is uh, I keep going back and forth between the plate palette and the uh, the painting itself. I'm getting a little bit more peach to darken some areas and then I might go a little bit more white to lighten them. And I'll work on a section at a time. I really want to get it blended in with the base coat before it dries. Because another another tip about painting on paper or cardstock is it's going to soak in the color. And if you get too dark as the base, sometimes uh, the paint on top, depending on the thickness you want, it, it won't cover it up. If you get too dark in some areas, it's going to look really bad. <coughs> Excuse me. And then at that point, it's uh, either Photoshop to the rescue if you're just going to make prints off of it because uh, the original is not going to be available unless you want to take the time and repaint something else similar and the type of person that I only want to do this once it really drives me nuts to uh, make the drawing itself and then to trace it onto the cardstock just doing that step irks me a little so I don't I don't even know. I'm I've been lucky enough that I haven't had to repaint an entire painting. Just keep that in mind. You don't want to put too dark down. Kind of like um watercolor rules. You you wanna start light and build up. It's a little bit different when I paint on wood or canvas. Which I'm thinking about doing a kind of a talk through guide like this for different uh, painting surfaces. It's been a long time since I painted on, uh, uh, what's it called? <sighs> Give me a second. Canvas panels, it's canvas panels that I was trying to think of. There's some kind of primer they put on it, and when I tried to paint uh, about a month ago, it was just sliding all over the place. I had to wait for each layer to dry. It's been a while since I've painted on canvas. The extra background noise, if you can hear it, is the TV on in the other room. There really isn't a time that it's going to be extremely quiet in this house. Everybody's doing something different. The nose is mainly shadows and highlights. And you'll see uh, when uh, too much paint's dabbed on there, I'm just going to take my finger and kind of uh, get the excess off just right as I'm doing it. Well, I wonder why it got bright, massively bright all of a sudden there. The lamp is actually off to the side on another table. So it's not like I'm shaking the lamp. Hmm. It's 
more peach, more peach, more white, peach and white. And yes, you can mix your own flesh tone. I just find it so much easier just to have a tube of peach or flesh and then build on top of that. But I'm not really wasting a lot of paint. It's already pre-mixed and then I just add the blues and the, the browns and the reds. Okay, so for this shadow that I'm starting here on the side, I took the peach and I mixed some of the pool blue into it. It's kind of a bluish gray color, not too dark though. It just it starts to build the shadow. The key to all of this, if you haven't figured it out, is slow, slow, slow strokes, building up layers. Because as was stated earlier, I really don't want to mess this up. And I've used the same brush throughout this this entire uh, video here. I, I haven't switched out brushes. I've got several in the box, but I really didn't need to, to use any other brush except for this one. I mean, fine detail. This is on 11 or 8.5 by 11 cardstock paper, so it's pretty tiny, depending on what your perspective is, I mean. Give her a little bit of shadow underneath the leaf, a little bit of shadow underneath the hairline. For, for the water that I add to the paint, it's minimal. Just enough to uh, get the color out of the brush and switch to the next color. Oh, she's starting to show some depth. So there's more peach. Peach on top of the, the blue gray to bring the shadow out a little bit more, but not as strong. Blending, blending, blending. And if you stuck with it this far, good for you. Because honestly, I'm kind of getting. <laughs> tired of re-watching me do this. It's like, wow. We're not even halfway through this video. 
So bravo if you've made it this far. You must be extremely dedicated. It's a little bit of brown. Pray a little bit of brown mixed with peach. Here in a second I might just speed it up because as it is right now this is going to be a 30 minute video. And honestly it's just uh, building up with the same browns, blue, the pool blue. Oh well, no maybe I better wait till I do some of the uh, cheek before I speed this up. Which is basically just the peach color again with some red. And I'll build layers up on that too. To give some warmth to some areas. And then more blue and more peach. And you keep blending and blending and blending. You're going to see that some of these strokes make it look worse than better. I'm just really having a hard time with this nose. But I was able to save it. Well, that doesn't look too bad. That one really dark brown line above that was pretty bad. That's a little too dark in my opinion, which I'll, I'll uh, blend that down. It's just straight brown without mixing anything into it. Give her a stronger jawline. Bring the lips out further. Darken under the nose. I'm usually listening to podcasts while I'm painting too. I get out my phone and, and my headphones and go onto YouTube and search out whatever I want to listen to while I'm painting. Makes the time go by a lot faster. It's like, whoa, that's way too dark. A little bit of highlight. When I start out on these characters, uh, most of the time I have no idea what I'm going to paint the colors as. I mean, the skin, obviously, but um, eye color, hair color, clothes, and I just pick and go as, I, as it progresses. Kind of chooses itself, actually, at a point once you get the the eye color down and the hair color then you pretty much go with a palette that goes with those colors doesn't clash too bad here we go this little bit of white a little bit of peach and a little bit of red Blend it down.
When it gets too dark, you just blend in more peach and more white. Let's do the other side. And I think this is where I'm going to stop this and uh, thank you for taking the time to listen to my talk through. Not really a walk through. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. I would think a, a real tutorial walk through. I'd be a little bit more in depth with things. So I'm going to call it a talk through. Why not? So anyway, thanks for watching this. I'm going to speed it up. There is still nine more minutes to this video. We're just going to to the end.